the number one Bible quiz show in America, where God's lessons pay out in cash only, baby. It's big money Jesus. Three contestants have come from Southern California to attempt to open the windows of heaven. First up from Covenant Blessing Fellowship South Bay, originally from Carson, California, the cheer for Deontay Patterson. Hey, hey guys, how you doing? Next up from Mega Mount Moriah in Los Angeles, California, give it up for Curtis Cooper. Yo, yo, what's up, my beat? From Western Wealthy Bird in Ladera Heights, California, Let's hear it for Ciamara Morgan. Praise him. I'm your announcer, Jerry Clinton. And now, your host, Monty Monahan. Thanks a lot, Jerry. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Big Money Jesus. We're going to get those blessings flowing. Everybody ready? Let's get it started. Here's our first question. Who receives the hundredfold blessing that Jesus refers to in Mark 10.30? Dante? Oh, yeah, that's it. Deontay. And uh, those that suffered greatly for the sake of Christ and the gospel. No, I'm sorry, Dante. That's not the correct answer. Curtis? Oh, that's easy. Everybody, the petty tithes, and sold it to the ministry... That is correct. Yeah. Wow, looks like someone's caught the spirit. Monty Monahan here with our second round. Here's the question. According to Deuteronomy 8, God gives us the power to... See you tomorrow. Get well. You know a little bling, a navvy, a nice spot in Beverly Hills. ka -ching. Praise God, that's right, see you tomorrow. Oh, Durante sounds the buzzer for the challenge. It's pronounced Deante, man. Deante. D. Y'all, y'all, wow, man. Deuteronomy 8 talking about something altogether different. Man. Talking about the Israelites and how they was obedient to God and his mercy and goodness toward them. Why y'all always got to focus on power and, and wealth? Oh. Well, let's see what the panel says. Judges? Wrong. I'm sorry, Dante. Looks like your challenge has been rejected. Great game today. The score so far. CMR with 100. Curtis with 100. And Dion still waiting to get on the scoreboard. Deontay, man. Deontay. And here's the next question. Why did the Roman soldiers at the cross gamble for Jesus' coat? Dante? Deontay, man. And it's uh, so the prophecy or scriptures will be fulfilled. No, I'm sorry, D'Artagnan. Again, that's not the correct answer. You're having a tough day, aren't you? I'll see you tomorrow. What's your answer? Because it was designer, baby. Jesus didn't wear anything off the rack. <laughs> right again, see you tomorrow. Yay! Thanks, Monty. I know my word. Yeah, you keep that faithfulness up. You'll be rich. Monty Monahan here with the final question of our lightning round. CMR is ahead, but it's still anybody's game. Here's the question. According to Romans 4.17, who can call those things which do not exist as though they do? Oh, Curtis beat CMR to the buzzer. Curtis, your answer. Yeah, Monty. That's anybody got enough faith. Curtis, that's correct. Oh, Wait, there's another challenge. Wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, Deontay, but the panel has rejected your challenge again. That means, Curtis, you're our winner. You're going to get a chance to open the windows of heaven. Yeah, baby, yeah. That's right, Curtis. For winning our lightning round, you've won it all. It's been paid to, to the world of one prosperity harvest company. Next, we'll see if you can open the windows of heaven and drive home in that Cadillac Escalade. And a chance to win also $100,000. Sending you home in style. Because remember, you're the head and not the tail. We're going to see if he can win the grand prize. He's got to answer just one more question. Brother Curtis, it's a tricky one. Here we go. Why was Judas Iscariot Jesus' treasurer? Well, Monty, I think uh, because Jesus had big money, dog! That's right, Brother yeah. Curtis. You're yeah. all yeah. You win yeah. the grand prize. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Lord. And Thank that's 
wraps up another great show. Come on over here, brother Curtis. Do you have anything you want to say to your friends and family at home? Love y'all. All y'all teaching ministries, everything, you know. I'm going to have to go to my prayer cloth, my back pocket, put two sips of my holy water. Hey, you know what the Lord says? Hey, you be the size of your heart, man. The prayer of a righteous man. You know what the prayer of a righteous man is? Hey, my father house is many mansions, many mansions. For you folks at home, if you believe it, you will achieve Get ready, saints. I pray that you came like a greedy man. Coming is the word of wealth, prosperity, harvest, comfort. That's right, saints. Get your seeds ready. God turned that thousand dollars into a million and a half. I'm sick and tired of hearing about sweets of gold. I don't need gold in heaven. I gotta have it now. That spirit of poverty is broken when you give five thousand dollars. That's right. Watch God turn your thousand dollars into a million and a half. And I don't need gold in heaven. I gotta have it now. Learn how to break that spirit of poverty when you give $5,000 and much, much more at the Word of Wealth Prosperity Harvest Conference 2006. Call now. 1-800-WOW-2006. We accept cash, money orders, electronic transfer, bill pay, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover, Department Store Cards, PayPal, Debit, EBIT, Iris, 401k. Everyone is as prayerfully considered as those guys are. The master of the grab for cash would have to be this guy, our favorite, Mike Murdoch. A lady came up to me one night and she said, my ex-husband has not paid child support in 15 years. I said, sow a seed for $58 just as a covenant between you and God. I'm not trying to buy a miracle, that's absurd. But give God a seed of your faith, $58. <laughs> money at all. It's about planting seeds. And I tell you what, planting a seed in Mike's bank account really pays off. Less than 30 days, that ex-husband wrote her a check and mailed it for $65,000. Whoa, that's amazing. Yeah. Surely you can't expect that to happen every time. Expect a harvest. <laughs> expect it. Mm. Expect it. <laughs> Maybe you can, yeah. Okay, so it seems like all you've got to do is give Mike 58 bucks and all kinds of miracles are going to happen. That sounds like crap to me. No, that's not. Look, he even gave an ironclad guarantee. If what I have said about sowing and reaping is just for Mike Murdoch's personal gain, may a curse be on me and my ministry, and may my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. <laughs> See, the man is prepared to cleave his own tongue, Julian. That's good enough for me. So I sent off my $58 to Mike. But amazingly, no miracles. Who would have thought? But the good news is that Mike has come up with an even more foolproof way of prompting miracles. God spoke to me and said, tell them about the miracle of the thousand dollar seed. Sounds great. Uh, I'll tell you what, if you believe that, Chaz, I have just the man for you, Benny Hinn. Now, Benny is one of those faith healers, right? And he uses all kinds of very strange techniques to heal people. There he goes. Benny cures arthritis, mm -hmm. asthma, cancer, pretty much anything except tone deafness. No other name but the name of the singer. Sing it! But you know, what you really learn from Benny is that the cure to every known illness is pushing people over. Mm. <laughs> Kenneth Copeland, the so-called godfather of prosperity gospel. One TV sermon after another. Somebody shout amen! For Kenneth Copeland and wife Gloria implore viewers to sow the seeds of their faith by following God's word and donating dollars, promising a hundredfold return in happiness and wealth. Donating dollars promising a hundredfold return in happiness and wealth. As we flew over the Copeland's not-so-humble lakeside residence, I couldn't help asking myself whether this was the most effective way of spending donations addressed to God. Copeland's are not on the road. They spend their days inside of their 18,000 square foot parsonage on the shores of Eagle Mountain Lake, surrounded by hundreds of acres of range and ranch land, not far from their tennis courts and boathouse. 
And with this lavish lakefront home, all 18,000 square feet of it, and a fleet of private planes, all paid for by the ministry. The word receiving means receipting. And so he said, when you give, you get a receipt in heaven that when you have a need, you can then go with your receipt and say, you see, God, I have got my receipt from my sowing, and now I have a need, and I'm cashing in my receipt. So when you have a need, you give, and then you go before God and you say, here, God, here's my receipt. I'm cashing in my receipt. Now, if that is not buying a miracle, I would really like to know what it is. Second Peter 2. But there were also false prophets among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you. They will secretly introduce destructive heresies, even denying the sovereign Lord who bought them, bringing swift destruction on themselves. Many will follow their shameful ways and will bring the way of truth into disrepute. In their greed, these teachers will exploit you with stories they have made up, their condemnation has long been hanging over them, and their destruction has not been sleeping. 